Okay guys, RIU Performance here again. Um, figured I'd take this perfect opportunity I'm having a issue with the core. Um, believe it to be a vacuum leak, but I figured this would be a perfect learning opportunity. So, as you can notice, highlighted in the blue is the long-term fuel trims, and on top of that is one of the short-term, and then you got for the different banks, bank one and bank two, sensor one, sensor two, but those are on the next page. Anyway, you can see the short-term fuel trims, those are looking okay. They're, like I said in previous videos, you want to see a good number between positive and negative 10, either way. If you're above that, you probably have some issues. Um, I actually, my fuel trims, the short-term were all the way in like the 15 to 20 range yesterday. So I did a little bit of tinkering, made sure everything was tight. Um, and I got them back down now, as you can see, they're fluctuating like the highest I've seen so far was at 3.1, 3.1, 1.6. Yeah. So those are looking okay. But as you can see, the long-term fuel trims one and two, they're just steady 12.5, they ain't moving. And they do, you know stay in one spot but they usually fluctuate a little bit these ones are just staying straight at 12.5 that's not a big deal but the fact that it is 12.5 is the big deal so what that could mean is that there's a vacuum leak or there's a restriction in the fuel system somewhere uh, i don't believe there to be a restriction in the fuel system but that is because I uh, just recently had the manifold off and I used new gaskets but the throttle body gasket the parts store didn't have it that day so I just used some silicone RTV um, I don't really like doing that but what I'm gonna try first is replacing the throttle body gasket if that doesn't work then you know maybe I'll hook a fuel gauge up to it see what the fuel pressure is but figured while this is uh, acting up I could show you what it looks like to have bad fuel trim numbers uh, you definitely want to focus more on the long term the short term can be good and you know di diagnosing other things excuse me but um, your long term fuel trims is telling you pretty much you know what's happening over a longer period of time and considering these are just 12.5 and that's not like an air to fuel ratio if the air to fuel ratio is 12.5 wouldn't be too worried that would be a bit rich because this isn't you know boosted engine or nothing but uh, yeah that's not how these numbers work this just means that it's adding fuel more than likely compensating for the extra air that's getting into the engine uh, this does have a mass airflow sensor so obviously the vacuum leak would be after the mass airflow sensor but I just figured I'd take time out to show you guys um, the most viewed videos I have right now are on you know the scanner stuff so I figured why not show you guys this good to know anyway you know if you have a cheap scanner this one is a bit more expensive but it's not you know one of those eight thousand dollar ones they use in like dealerships but it gets me by so but uh like I said if you have a positive number like I do that means it's adding fuel if you have it this was negative 12 it would be taking fuel away so but considering it's uh, positive and it's adding fuel I'm leaning more towards a vacuum leak so I'll get back to you guys on that I'll let you know if it definitely was that throttle body I'll actually make a video on it um, I'll be putting a distributor in this car soon too so I'll have a video on aligning the first cylinder at top dead center a lot of people won't even want to attempt trying that and you know, mechanics want like $350 to just do that. Then you're looking at the 200 for the distributor, depending on what kind of car you got. But so definitely can save you money, and it's really not hard at all. If you have a regular socket wrench and a socket to fit on the uh, crank pulley bolt, and you got some free time, then you could definitely do it yourself. It's really not that hard. So I'll have a video on that soon. I just wanted to show you guys this. Um, I'm monitoring the coolant temp to just make sure everything's okay but it seems fine so I'll have a video on that later if you found this video useful please subscribe like this video share it
trying to get out there. I'm not trying to be a big YouTube person, but I uh, definitely want to help people because mechanic work is a lot of money, and that's how I started. You know, I just picked up a wrench one day and started learning stuff, take stuff apart, putting it back together. So you could do it if you want to. If not, you know, just knowing the information is good. If you're broken down on the side of the road one day, you can figure out what's going on yourself. So thank you. I really appreciate your view, and I will see you next video.